Hello and welcome to Contrary Sims. Right now we're in the middle of the Backyard Beautification live event, so I thought I would go through some of the ways that I make the events a little easier on myself, and almost always complete them with days to spare. Hopefully they help you out, if not during this event, but maybe any that come up in the future. First thing to do, if you haven't already, is to set up dedicated workshops <coughs> sweatshops in your town where you can leave the craft stations after you've first bought them. You don't want to be putting them into inventory and moving them around your town either during the event or between events. And I'll talk a little bit more about why later. The first thing I do when the tutorial begins is to bring over four sims who will be my candle makers. I bring them up here and I get them planting just to get them into position to trap them here. There goes the stairs, and these poor unfortunate souls won't be seeing their homes again for the better part of the week. Sorry little guys. When the tutorial asks you to start crafting candles, it will let you craft them for only about 30 seconds, which is a lot shorter than the usual two and a half hours. It only asks you to use one sim, but you can take advantage by getting all four sims to work. Do it quickly before the first sim finishes. This is why I trapped them up here first. Then you can do the same when it asks you to restock for 10 seconds. Again, this usually takes two and a half hours, so you really want to get all four sims at it quickly. Now that you're all set up and you've finished the tutorial, just keep working those poor sim slaves of yours at the shortest collection time that works for your schedule. The shorter the collection time, the more collectibles you will get per hour, so the two and a half hour option is always best if you're able to check the game that often. When you're busy working or at school or sleeping, choose a longer collection time that works for you. I do the eight and a half hour option overnight. Anytime you get a chance, check in on your sims and pick up the bonus materials. The bonus reward does seem to cap out after about 15 minutes, so that's an ideal time frame to collect them. I don't fuss that much about the bonuses though, we all have better things to do than be tied to our phones. Alternatively, you can collect all of your bonuses in one fell swoop by completing the task with SP. The SP cost depends on how much time is left, so if you do it when there is less than 2 minutes remaining, it will only cost 1 SP per station. I do this sometimes in the morning after collecting overnight, especially for the jewellery and glassware, which I always have trouble getting enough of. So now we need to talk about constructor coins. Completing the daily tasks is really important for this. You can receive a total of 33 constructor coins as rewards for completing all of the tasks. So once I start unlocking the prizes, I try to restrain myself and not immediately claim everything. You can see I have more than enough resources to claim these first couple of prizes, but I'm holding off on getting them for now. This is because I want to be certain that I can complete the unlock or buy a prize task every day for the next week. As you progress, you will unlock various prizes including CC and SP, but eventually you'll get to the end of this line here, and for me that always happens well before I have all of the resources I need, especially CC. So if I keep these easy ones waiting here for me to claim, I have them ready if I need to buy something to complete that task. The other reason is because if I have a feeling that I might not make it in time, maybe I'm having really bad luck with the flower patch or I'm just too busy to play that much, I will try to purchase the last prizes first and work my way backward. This way if the event repeats, I won't need any jewellery or glassware, which always takes a while to unlock, so I can complete the event much faster the second time around. I also save up my candles and only use the flower patch once per day. I don't really think the odds are any better this way, but it certainly saves my sanity a little bit. 
I really hate this spin flower so much. I hate that it means the event ultimately comes down to luck no matter how hard you work at it. I hate that it glorifies pokies or slot machines in a general audience game that lots of kids play, but that's a rant for another day. Basically it's extremely aggravating to me to spin the flower and maybe get just one damn constructor coin. If I can spin it over and over again, like 15 or 20 times, then it's not quite so frustrating. You can see I got lots of 1s and 2s and 3s, but I got a couple of 8s and 12s. I made 55cc in total, which let me complete the last of my daily tasks, so with the 33cc from that, I made over 80 that day. Before I claim the very last prize, I like to do a complete restock of all the stations for the next event. You can restock 9 uses for 2.5 hours, or you can use 10 SP to restock 18 uses instantly. If there's a small amount of stock remaining on the stations at the end, I will pick it up and I'll put it into inventory to clear the stock. This is why I said you don't want to be doing this just willy nilly because you'll lose your stock. But now that it's emptied and placed back, I can get it all freshly stocked for next time. So good luck everyone, I hope these tips help you out a little bit during live events. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe if you would like to see more tips for playing The Sims Freeplay. Bye for now!